Munchy munchy time. I had not planned on going fishing again until after the new year, but it's so dang warm today, I just couldn't stay away. We'll see if there's a, tr a dry fly bite. That ought to be fun. Now it has not rained in the past couple of days. It's supposed to rain a heck of a lot this week. It's supposed to rain starting this evening, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, heck, even into Saturday. And there might even be a little bit of snow on Saturday, but you never know. Water level is up a little from where it's been the past couple of weeks, but it's not terribly high. There's no sun today, even though it is a little bit warmer, it still may be a slow day for dry flies. So I'm gonna start out today with the indicator rig, but I'm not just gonna fish a single nymph on it. I'm gonna tie a tag and put a, a little midge fly on it. I'll show you a little trick that I use to add a dropper tag whenever I am fishing with a, a single uh, nymph on the end and I just want to add a tag without having to retie tip it. Okay, let me show you that trick I was telling you about. So check this out. So if I want to put a tag over here with a smaller nymph and I've got a knot like this that's upstream or up the string from my uh, point fly what I will do is I'll take a bit of tippet and I will tie a perfection loop in it. So I'm going to set this down and I tie a perfection loop in it by doing this number right here. Put a little loop, do another little loop and then through the middle and then I take that and pull it tight and that's a non-slipping loop. And then what I'll do is take that same little tag, cut it with enough length there that I can do a, a tie a fly to it. And then I'll take this little loop, put it upstream from where my point fly is. And then I'll run that through there just like a loop to loop knot. And it pulls down and stops right there at that tag or where the dropper tag was on there and then you can reach in and get a, a midge or you know whatever you want to put on the top and then that'll be on your dropper up here real easy to add that tag without having to retie your point fly see there after you're done here you've got a little tag with a dropper and then you've got your point fly at the end there I've got a little rubber leg and then I've got a midge up top and then you've got the bobber up above that it's pretty slick pretty slick pretty easy way to add a uh, a dropper nymph nothing on the nymph today not in this area anyways I do see some dry fly activity but I think I might go up to the tip and try this nymph out on some of the higher current areas before I give up on it and then I'll come back here and if there's nobody here, I'll tie a dry fly on it. Oh, is he on the nymph or is he on the... Yeah, he's on the bigger one. Oh! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. On the stone fly. Is a good one? Now he took the bigger nymph on the bottom. Gotcha. Now he took the little or the bigger nymph too came up. Oh well. Long distance release. Ooh. Boy, he ate right in front of me. Odd, isn't it?
<laughs> Weird. He did eat it right in front of me. How about that? I saw this fish eat a dry fly right here. And I just plopped my nymph right in front of him and he ate it. That's neat. Never would have expected to see one just grab a nymph like that that was eating dries. But boy, that's a pretty one. Let's set him loose. <laughs> that was cool. Look at that, another stone fly on me. That's the fourth or fifth one that I've picked off of me today. I see them flying all over the place. The odd part is I'm just not seeing a lot of, a lot of surface activity. Usually with this many stoneflies flopping around, you'd be seeing fish eating all over the place. Huh. Maybe I'm still early, who knows. And it is, like I said, it's not sunny today, even though it is warm. So sometimes that's the difference between fish being active on the surface and not. Oh, I just saw one eat up there. Got one. Got one. You take the nymph or, or the little nymph or the big one. I no, took the bigger one. Whoa! Sweet. What's coming up here did pay off. So thick. Look at how healthy that fish is. See you, bud. All right, I've seen several flies or several big dry fly eats. Oh, I just saw a humongous one out there. So we're going to change up. I'm not going to do nymphs if I'm going to... Ooh, I just heard another big one eat over there. Right around behind me. So let's change up. What I've done is I've tied on one of those last chance crippled uh, Adams variants. I love this pattern. It's hard to see in really high current areas but the area where the water is a little bit slower like this I ought to be able to see it I've seen a fish hit two or three times right up here if I can convince him to come up and eat this thing catching that fish yes Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was so cool. Man, what a long distance dry fly eat. That was like 65 feet. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. I saw that fish eat three or four times. He finally came up and committed. Oh, he came off, but that's cool. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. Now, this is that last chance cripple. It's... This is the last one of these I have. I'm glad he didn't bite it off. I'm gonna have to tie some more of these things. They're really neat. They just, they have like 15 different materials involved and they're all kind of fussy to deal with with the CDC and the little, ooh, boy, that was right in front of me. Let's see if we can get him. right there maybe. maybe right there got him <laughs> yeah he's gonna jump again he's gonna jump again nope love it Boy, he got it good. I hope I can get it out of it. Oh no, it's right there. Yeah. That is a beauty. What a pretty rainbow. How that color is on him. Solid fish. Solid fish. On a single dry. Love that. This is like the epitome of fly fishing. So 
the second or third time I've heard one right behind me. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention, got it on the drift. Love it. Wasn't even paying attention. He got it on that long drift. Usually I'd say this kind of fish doesn't count, but we'll count him. We'll count him today. Oops. Oh, he's flopping all over the place. Good one. Super duper. Last trout I caught coughed up a stone fly on my finger. So you can see that's what they're eating. Pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Well, I'd say that was a good lunch break. We got out here. It was a little cooler, pretty cloudy. I didn't think there was going to be much dry fly activity today. But we saw some stone flies flopping around. I knew there'd have to be something happen eventually. And, uh, Thankfully, the, uh, the activity did pick up. You know, the sun peaked out for about 20 minutes and we got some good dry fly action just in time to go back to work. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and thanks for subscribing. I'll keep making videos. Hopefully the weather will hold out. Have a good day and Happy New Year.